Abadage did push in and is hovering around, but Schalke's bot lane can't move. G2 fine, and there's an engage though. Neo knocked up, heals immediately. Limit trying to body block here. Yankos going underneath the tower with the rampage, and he's rooted, and Yankos is just down. And here comes Gilius. Both flashes still available for Mickey and Reckless Gilius looking for that stun. Just about gets in range. Mickey yet to burn his flash to try and get away. There it is. Well, it's only worth it if you use the held correctly, right, Kedro? Because they need to be able to get those uh, plates down themselves. Of course, they have five minutes before turret plates fall off. Mickey. Limit goes in. Gilius looking for the stun here. Mickey has nowhere to go, no flash available, and Schalke in the bottom lane are finding advantages. Get towards those Dragon Soul points, and the Herald is very, very useful in the mid game to get the mid towers and limit. It's flashing on Mickey. Flashing in, looking to try and get Gilius around the corner. Yankos on his way as well. TP's coming in from Schalke as they look to join the fight. It's Abadage who will come down here. Limit was the one who flashed in, and here comes Caps. Unstoppable onslaught. Use Limit's already down before Ooh. the fight even really begins. A great explosive cast from Mickey. They look for Neon. They can't quite get there. The Featherstorm coming out, but Caps with the Phosphorus Bomb, with the oh, Valkyrie. Caps. G2 are going to clean this one up. It should be an easy enough three for zero for G2 in the bottom lane. But G2's comp's a lot easier to execute, right? Yankos can go in. Mickey can go in. Limit's just flashing in. He flashes in straight onto Mickey. They get the stun onto him as well. Mickey puts the explosive cast down. Neon coming in for the chase as well, and another stun lands onto Mickey, and Neon gets the kill. Now is hitting the top tower, so you can see how one one kill can actually backfire if you don't use the time that you have when that person's dead effectively. Well, it feels like both teams just trading around vision. Cap's gonna get stunned up here, uses the Valkyrie to get away. TP coming in from Wonder. There's the unstoppable onslaught, and there is no way out of it. Reckless gets the kill onto Gilius. Now the chase is on. Wonder trying to double bounce his way in. Yankos on a rampage looking for the flank here. Oh. Featherstorm flashes not enough. Yankos goes on a killing spree and Limit pops the unbreakable will to try and get himself away as the top lane tower slowly gets chipped away. Limit will fall and you said a 20 minute Baron might be a little bit risky here, Kajol. But if three of the enemy team are dead, it's pretty darn easy. How do you engage 7,000 gold behind? G2 can start up the Infernal Soul here. Torellius from Limit, but there is the package to try and get away. Stepping forward, Limit eats all of his HP. Dragon goes down. Wonder building up the Mega. Yankos going in. Onslaught of Shadows is available. And he just rampages over the cow. Onslaught of Shadow comes out. Abadage forced away. He flashes. Precious. Broken Blade now on the front line, trying to get away from Reckless Mickey and Wonder. Wonder gnaws him into the wall, and Broken Blade is going nowhere today. Yankos chasing off the rest of Schalke all on his lonesome. But here comes Wonder, and here comes Mickey. G2 not satisfied with two. They're looking for every kill they can get. Another one goes into the back pocket. Wallop lands on Abadage. Gilius forced away as Reckless takes the kill. Abadage gets one, but that's an ace, and G2 have won this game at the 27-minute mark. Uh, yeah, the reason Darius has run Ghost and solo queue is for the gap close. It's very, very... Ca it catches you off guard a lot, the Darius. With yes. the Ghost level 1, Ooh. he can actually get a solo kill with the amount of damage he has from his passive. Let me just flashed in there. Um, he likes to flash in, it seems. Yeah, but he didn't get anything for it. In fact, they're even going to get the stun back here onto Neon, who's used the cleanse to try and go away. Limit That's now dead. stunned up with the concussive blows. There's no heal for him. And Limit is just dead in the bottom lane. He flashed double knock. And Neon oh, no. might go down. He has to flash away. Do pick up a kill, and they're playing towards the Darius, which is important. Limit, though. Trying to get the knockback here onto Caps, but Caps isn't going to tank. Here's the TP. I think Abadage and Broken Blade are going to join this fight. Another TP. Has to try and flash away, but Caps is already dead. Broken Blade will join the fight at the end. Schalke with a good TP play there to pick up the mid laner from G2. Doesn't have the onslaught of shadows yet, as we said. That early disadvantage Limit. costing him those levels. Mickey looking for the stun here. Limit, though, will be the first to fall in the fight. Just about taken out by Reckless. Gilius running forward. Doesn't have the mana to land that bare stance. And Reckless still on the chase here with the volley. Abadage working his way down from the mid lane. Neon tries to turn it back around, but he goes, oh, oh, the Neon! Neon with the redemption! Abadage just in range. Now Reckless has to flash away. The paddle star will find its mark. Abadage can't quite get the damage down. But in the end, Schalke win out on the bot lane and then get towards these late game team fights. A lot of it is just off the back of Limit. I think that he's taking advantage of the fact that it's much easier for him to roam and impact the map as Yankos now goes in. On Sword of Shadows used, Gideus does not have the flash. It's just off cooldown. He can't get away. Reckless now 4 and 0 oh on this yeah, arrow. And Yankos is on the chase. The arrow available for Reckless, as you say. Shockwave, stopwatch. Abadage still underneath the tower. is going to try and jump his way around with the portal. Jump, but the ball is there. 5v5 brawl here in the top side. River Limit trying to step 
forward. De Decimating Smash doesn't quite land. Gideus there with a stun. The Paddle Star goes wide. Patience on Shirley. Very low as that Rift Held might reset. But here we go. The knockup. Mickey already dead. Rift Held secured for G2. And Shalka will not be willing to run away from this one. They're trying to chase Wonder down. He uses the Unstoppable Onslaught to get himself away. Heal out. Gideus. Flash. Stun. Straight onto Wonder. And now even the Decimating Smash won't save him. Wonder dies once the bubble. again. Yanko stunned up. There's a sleepy trouble bubble there for them as well as Wonder tries to it. use the zombie to do as much as he can. Reckless snipes him across the wall. Well, Reckless has two items right now. The Phantom Dancer already complete. Here goes Limit going back. Yanko's trying to get in and Limit's knocked up straight away. The upper hand only lands onto Mickey. Limit's stunned down to about a third of his HP and Reckless just oh, opens up with the Ranger's focus. There's the Shockwave. Broken Blade knocked back, gets the kill onto Mickey, but now the chase is really on. Gilius has nowhere to go. G2 pick up three quick kills as the Baron has been begun. Gilius doesn't have Flash here. Mickey's going to be the front man, the bouncer, trying to keep Gilius out of the after parties. Schalke try and step forward, but that Baron's already down to 2,000 HP. And it oh. is Dunzo, almost stolen away by, by Abadage, but couldn't quite get taken. Here we go. Broken, Broken Blade. Blade. Reckless is in flank. base. Reckless is in base. He can't join the fray, but only two players from Schalke are here, and Broken Blade already down to half HP. There's the Kunovinsky game from Neon. The sleep's going to land only onto Mickey. Yanko stunned up. The Shockwave hits one. G2 able to back away. The arrow still connects on two. Limit as here comes another apprehend. Oh, the what? Sleep, the gargoyles, the shields, not enough. Shut down. And now Broken Blade can really open up with those successive guillotines. Limit is down. Wonder able to help kill Broken Blade and Reckless has joined the fray, but a little bit too late. He's shut down. Abadage and Neon can push forward. It's 2v2. Mid laner and AD carry versus mid laner and jungler. Abadage goes in this alone. Is. Neon's going to join the fray. Abadage flashes away and near Kathian reigns. Hell upon Yankos. Coming out from Gideon, the chase here that's a very speedy I'm bear there. flash bear slack tp coming out from g2 and gilius is already down reckless with his 500th playoff kill wonder coming in and the pain train is not stopping at the shulker station g2 able to pick up another couple in this top lane fighting and all that came g2 Look to go 2-0 up in this series. Schalke really can't do too much about it. Gilead stepping forward, but he is back to the fountain. The Nexus, the target in a moment because G2 can taste a little steak on Ooh. the menu. Limit shock waved. And how now, Brown Cow? He's down. Broken Blade next. Neon, the last one standing. You can also get off pretty good recalls yourself, but I've got to focus on the top. Gideas ghosting in, Wonder knockback. Does still have the flash, is going to use it early. Gideas still underneath the tower here. We'll be able to get the kill. And that Hecarim paying off for Schalke already. Because yep. that's going to be probably the biggest swing factor when it comes to the early game. You can see Neon and Limit very aggressive. He messed up though. his combo. He's only got the headbutt left. He's already used the pulverize. Yankos on the chase. Watch out, Neon. The double knockup from Limit isn't going to be enough. Gilius coming in, has the onslaught of shadows. Here's the TF coming in with that destiny. They're looking for Limit. Gold card hits Gilius, but Caps should be donated this kill. You can see Reckless actually. Oh, Magnus. Well, I thought he wasn't going to take it, and then it was a battle between him and Caps to see who could secure the final shot. So Yankos going towards the spot side, and G uh, Shalka started out the Herald, so Shalka's bot needs to be careful here. Oh, engaged from Mickey, but it's knocked back by Limit. The chase is on. Reckless with the Relentless Pursuit looking for Neon. Mickey's almost down. Neon gets it. Gets excited, but Reckless will take him out. Yankos goes in with a watch out eat, but the turnaround from Limit is here. Yankos trying to get himself away with that extra movement speed. Right, they get the Herald, they get the whole top side. As there's a fight in mid, Caps flashes away. Rampage still going to connect. There's a shockwave. Hits onto him. Caps fleeing with a red card, and Limit gets the kill. Yankos now caught in the middle of three, but the loading lullaby will just oh. about take him out. Schalke with another kill. I think G2 can get a lot on the cross map if they get to the tower, but he has to be careful. Destiny underneath the tower. Caps uses the rocket belt to get in. Mickey with the knock up and Abadage, he tried oh. to be careful but there's nowhere for him to go with the flash and now Reckless has to try and flash away from Gilius who takes the kill himself. Luton Lullaby stopped with the onslaught of shadows. Perfect execution there from Gilius as Limit chases Mickey down. Mickey dies. Caps now going to get chased out. Apprehend with the flash. Broken Blade brings down the axe. The enemy support is losing out and Broken Blade finds his mark. Looking for the Reckless here. Gets the guillotine down. Gold card locked in by Caps. Stun coming out as well, but Mickey realizes he has to run. Here's the exhaust. There's the Onslaught of Shadows. And Caps, that's half his health with a single axe He's blow. Dead. TP coming in. Caps pops the stopwatch to survive. Do the hemorrhage. TP comes in from Wonder. Mickey was able to kill off Broken Blade towards the back of the fight, but he is going to sacrifice his life for that. Neon will be gifted this kill. The... Oh, oh, that was... <laughs> <laughs> That's G2. <laughs>
<laughs> He's going to take them on a magical journey. Mickey's not letting them kill him yet. This mid wave is so important. Now, but I just picked up a Seraph, so he is so strong. And they're going to look for the fight. G2 have some control, though. If Broken Blade dies really quickly and G2 can just chain CC him and take him down, they could win the fight. But Broken Blade's found the engage. Oh, he finds Cabs with the upper hand. Cabs flashes away, but there's no escape from the Broken Blade. He brings down the hammer and Cabs is dead. Decimating Smash going to go wide as well. The explosive cast hits onto Wonder. He pops his ult to try and get away. Mickey does have the flash, but doesn't really have anywhere to go. Shao could get two. Stepping forward, Loating Lullaby available. There's another gold card. Caps trying to do what he can. The Loating Lullaby comes engaged. out. There's the sleep. Here's the destiny. And here go G2. Reckless, how many auto attacks are you going to get down in this fight? Caps takes line. two. Caps gets us to the back line. His Neon is forced away. Limit trying to get away as well, but Reckless is on the hunt and on the chase. And the shutdown comes out. Neon down. Jinx down. But here oh, comes Blade. the Noxian Guillotine. Broken Blade cutting through G2 as quickly as he can as Caps. Now it's all on him to do what he can. Broken it's Blade. Broken with the decimate. He himself back up. Caps with the shot. Stays in the It's a quadra and Broken Blade bring down the axe. Looking for the pentakill. Can't quite get it now. Wonder trying to get over the wall. Broken Blade oh! pulls him right back in. A pentakill for Broken Blade. And, and Shaka, they have done it. They will get themselves a huge win. They will make their way and they will still fight in this series as they take down G2 off the back of a pentakill. Smite limit's gonna try and trade him onto Mickey. There's the attract repel stun, but the Mickey condemn into the wall. Mickey should just be dead here. Nowhere for him to go. Gets the shield from the knockup, ignites onto Neon, but there's the cleanse heal coming out from Reckless. Mickey's gonna try and flash it back up towards this bush. Reckless now the next target is limit. Charges up that stun and charges straight into the wall. Flash onto Reckless as well, who doesn't have a flash, doesn't have a heal, doesn't have anywhere to go apart from back to the safety Neon. of the tower. Neon tumbles in. Oh, is it like the shot? Neon was freezing, but he didn't have actually any other information on anyone else, and now Yankos. Don't know Yankos is here. Flash Stun, Neon caught out, but he's able to get away with the flash of his own. Limit gonna get the stun here onto Yankos. Dragon goes down, Gilius now level six, coming down to join the party. Yankos only flash, level bash, four, flash, bear, slap. Neon gets his second kill of the game, and now Reckless is the new target. Another bear, another slap. Reckless slapped into the wall as well. The majority of AD carries in the game, especially given this game oh, state. is coming in, though, Shalka can match. This is Caps, Mickey going in with a knock up. The Magna Storm brings them back. Wonder and Caps going in, they're looking for Neon, they're looking for the vein. Reckless dives in with a killer instinct, and Neon really has nowhere to go, tries to tumble out, but can't do it. The shockwave in. Shutdown goes over to uh, Reckless as they look for a couple more kills. G2 coming in, five alive still, and Schalke running for the wins, running for the hills. Gilius put to sleep, limit chased off towards the bottom side of this fight. Gilius just about able to get away until Cap swoops in and takes his name, puts him in his death note. Jankos will kill off limit in the end. Yeah, they have the man advantage, but they have no ultimates available. Caps is doing so much damage from range, meaning Neon can't step up too far. Even though Shell could get a kill, they're going to have to drop this oh, dragon. They're looking oh, for Gilius. Gilius has the flash coming up soon, though. Killer Instinct is available here for Reckless. There is the shuffle. Caps brings Gilius into Reckless's wait. Oh, Schalke here need this win. They're going to force us to a game five, and you see how much it means to them. Here's the here, though. next flash. Limit goes in, oh. Reckless immediately flashes away. The short game doesn't quite connect. And here comes the Magna Storm onto the back line. Neon stunned up with the cleanse is able to keep himself alive. Mickey gets the kill. And now we're going to look to get, keep on pushing forward. There's Caps. Yankos down to half HP, but Abadage. Abadage still has the shockwave and Limit has flash. There could be a big wombo here. Gilius needs to get to that blast cone. 3,000 HP on the Baron. Limit trying to step forward. Gilius standing there, waiting. The channel coming out. They're looking for the knocker, but there's only 1,000 HP on the Baron. Gilius could steal it. The shockwave comes out. It's a Oh, I got it! Abadage! For Schalke secures the Baron and perhaps has held on to a string of hope for Schalke Null. The thing is, Schalke have about 40 seconds before they need to pick something. They have to oh, go in. Oh, the combo from both carries. Flashes away, puts up the divide and manages to get the shield. Magna Storm coming in from Mickey. He will sacrifice himself. Caps survives. Reckless survives. Put the dragon across the wall. There's the unstoppable on. He doesn't have smite. Step in. He doesn't have smite. And that's the dragon you have to feel. Caps is going to be able to secure it. Oh, he got it. Pulls it away. He didn't have smite. How on earth did he do that? The Emperor reigns over his kingdom right now as Kit Mickey Broken Blade. Yeah. Broken Blade flashes in. Limit goes onto the back line as well with the Magnus Storm on the back. It's going to do a lot of work. The shutdown. Broken Blade opens up with the Noxy Unity. One to the next target. Ooh. It's all on Caps. It's all on Reckless Neon. Still alive. Still has that GA. The guard, Gargoyle Stone Plate will keep Wonder alive. Gives like a limit. Like a limit. Just to clear out Limit. He felt Caps. In. He gets pushed back. The shockwave but still connects. And Caps is gone. Magnus Storm coming out. Limit's underneath Watch the Neon. Watch He's Neon. Still able to survive. Reckless has to flash away. Neon going forward. Tumbling in. 
win. Shao Ka somehow have managed to defeat G2, and they will take us all the way to Game 5. The Janners, the Garen Yumis. Of course, he did play Cinder at bot lane, I believe. Jank got uh, spotted again. Oh, they engage the double flash, double knock up. The stun lands Oof. and first blood to Reckless. But here comes the TP. Broken Blade going to join the tray. Infernal Chains flashed away there by Reckless. Does have the stage presence. Looking for that W. Doesn't oh. quite have the heal in time for Yankos. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, there's another trade as Caps tries to fight off Abadag. As the Stormbringer can look to dive underneath this tower. Thundering Smash gets the stun. There's a Sky Split, a Stormbringer combo. He's knocked back, but Abadag is done. The Culling finds his mark, and now Caps is the target. Broken Blade going in with the World Ender. And Caps really has nowhere to go. Infernal Chains, he dashes away from it. But is that going to be enough? Still has the Blast going. Meanwhile, in your picture in picture, you can see the supports in a back. Battle to the death as we see Caps fall off towards the top side of the fight, and it's a 5v4. Here it comes Wonder. They are of Schalke right now. Wonder going in, Yankos there as well. You can see Wonder coming in with the unstoppable onslaught, and there's already one kill, and it's down. And now the numbers switch in favor of G2. Oh, Mickey, Mickey with a great flank position as they look for more damage here. Mickey healed up with the Moonstone, able to be kept oh. alive. The Sidberg and Death Rocket goes wide, but Abadage will get the kill in the end. Wonder looking for Gilius underneath the tower, can't quite get him. It's just about not falling prey to the aggression of G2, finding those good late game fights oh, oh no! and making plays like that he's giving more ruby crystals and i think he's got more than enough right now against the items that shaka have wonder fighting its limit here limit no flash i'm just gonna jump away but the unstoppable onslaught where's neon he has no flash he has no cleanse he has no way of getting away a wonder gets the kill same screen as anyone of g2 caps takes him out but look at yankos on the side he can disable the tower on course trade in as well but there's the tp immediately from broken blade limit going in with the magnet storm and they're looking for the damage you can see everyone the rock in. here comes aatrox g2 you've been in this spot before and the aatrox lands and the emperor finds his victims a double for neon a double for broken blade and wonder is thunder and scuttlecrab now secured for shalker gilius on that front line wonder with no ultimate broken blade going in with the final chase that's Mickey. there's the culling there's the encore they catch gilius the limit dives onto the back line and caps is immediately exhausted limit just about now it's getting reset come the rest of shalker neon getting excited as, as i'm sure all the royal blue fans out there are as well He's looking for the engage option it's Mickey. Gideous. flashes in the zap connects as well mickey has to flash away decimating smash not going to do too much but there's the culling knocks neon gilius knocked away with the explosive cast as well and you can see the dive in but the encore lands onto limit and he's already dead. Decimating Smash flashed away by Broken Blade. Now G2 is oh, still alive for a second. Neon doing as much work as he can. Abadagi still alive up towards the bottom side. Neon down to about a third HP. Yanko's trying to dive in. Mickey not quite able to connect on Abadagi. And Neon is still alive. So is Broken Blade. So is Gilius. And so are the hope perhaps for Shalka Fluid to run this game. Abadagi getting chased off towards the bottom side. Neon really can't join the fight. Mickey down. Now goes Caps in. Broken Blade. <laughs> One last inhibitor tower. One last inhibitor here for Shalka. One last Sally into the breach as Neon oh, gets man. culled to half his HP. Wonder tanks the tower for a year. The charm comes out and is all on limit. He's already dead before he can even join the fray. No flash burn, no magna <laughs> storm. Shut down. I'm sorry, but did you have some DPS, Shalker? Because it looks like you're the ones getting DPS down. G2, you took your darn time about it. But in the end, Caps will pick up the triple. Caps will pick up the quadra. And they will take the final inhibitor. It was back and forth for a few moments. Schalke held a reverse sweep in their hands.